when the owners started branching out a little, look, I was doing quite a lot of work for him and just to learn a living. The wages weren't great, so at one stage I was only doing three of those a month. And it got quite exhausting trying to come up with World War II ideas all the time. And then I noticed that somebody else had done some historical, so I asked if it was okay to do these. And he said, well, for stories, they will always publish it. So, uh, well, a lot of Scottish history things such as um, post Roman stuff, you know, um, around Hadrian's Wall, uh, the Border Reavers. And I was found one good thing about Scotland is um, because so many parts of it are remote and inaccessible, you know, like Northwest Highlands and what have you. It's also a bit like the Wild West where you can get away with um, a few li historical liberties and things like that. Um, for instance, I did one about um, some SS, you know, bad Germans breaking out of a prison camp in Scotland. They, they give themselves a mission and there was a Scots soldier home on leave, gets a whole local home guard to go chasing them. Now, that didn't happen even though we set it as a did this happen or not kind of storyline, but because you've got these remote, you couldn't have set something like that in the middle of Brighton or Manchester. It doesn't really work, like, you know, it lasted five seconds, but when you actually go out to these remote parts of Scotland, it, it's like that Wild West, or, or also a bit like the Russian Front in a way. Sven has to do a lot of books there because nobody knows what happened. It was so big and so vast the area of it. So, I find that's all quite good for inspiration. Uh, and it's also the fact you also want to write about where you're from. Uh, but, one thing that bugs me is the fact that you know, it's going to be next year's anniversary of the Battle of Britain, 70 years coming up, and it's always based the fighting in the South East. Well, yeah, a lot of major air battles were there, but the Battle of Britain took place on the North East, no, east Coast of Scotland from um, was it a fighter group, um, fighter wing, whatever they called it. I forget the research as soon as I've done it. Based there from Newcastle right up to um, Aberdeen, basically. Uh, and I thought, a story about a Spitfire pilot flying over Edinburgh, defending his own hometown, like you know, and uh, so that will be coming out next year to coincide with the anniversary. So it's uh, it's quite inspiring to set stuff in, in your own backyard. And the editors were quite happy to like you. Oh, it would be some Thompson's especially, like yeah, uh, and uh, we had an artist based in Scotland, which was <coughs> useful as well. With the Spider Man thing, this actually arose from a slightly bigger story arc. Uh, the really spectacular Spider-Man is sold throughout Europe, Spain, Germany, Italy, France, what have you. So we thought, let's set a story in each country where our, our readership are, you know, and give them a bit of interest and maybe raise sales and profiles. And I thought, well, if we're doing that, we've got to have them in Britain. And I somehow managed to negotiate two stories set in Britain. The finale took place in London, but I had to get Spider-Man in my own hometown which I thought would be one of the easiest ones to write because I live here, you know, I know all the references. And I realised that, yeah, I do live here, and so do all my friends. And if I get one thing wrong, <laughs> like the famous scene in Trainspot, when it was running down Princess Street, the next second he's turned the corner to Carlton Hill. I get that sense <laughs> thing friends. So I don't have to get so many photo references, and uh, Google Maps wasn't doing the Google Street videos. I've seen you in that that wasn't yeah. up then, so it was actually having to find other sites with correct references and things like that. So I ended up in harnessing the research that I've done because, and I think, to be quite honest, we've got this spot on, I don't know if anybody can see it back or not, but uh, we got that feel of the new town basically. That's that's um, yeah, so that's basically kind of like a row area. If I had to make a two-page one, I'd love to show like Wester Hales where I grew up and like the leaf docks and things like that. And Eleven pages, you've only got so much that you've got other characters in as well as the kids are after and so forth. Make it old town, um, which looks really good to draw as well, you know. And luckily I'm a great artist, you've got all the references and everything in the back and all that. And we've got the castle in. The scene in the castle was what I saw in the newspaper that day. I think pretty much every title I've worked on, I managed to leave Scotland in it somewhere. I love the place. <laughs> good, good.